Here they are, right Find there. Them. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, straws for the beasts. What's up everybody? So today I'm out fishing with Tom Campbell of Dream Smasher Swim Baits. He's in town all the way from Minnesota for the Swim Bait Universe gathering. Tell us a bit about what you got going on here. All right, so I'm about to hook up a Dream Smasher six inch shad bait with a 10 knot beast hook. Uh, this is just one I grabbed. I'd rather use a weighted beast hook, but that's what I got. I'm gonna use a, do a straw to do this. There's a channel that's built into our weedless baits. I use this guy here, I guess. This is as good as any. And let's, I don't know if you can see this, but there is a channel that goes all the way to the top of the bait. And to get kind of a foolproof way of rigging it, you use a straw. First, we get the uh, centering pin lined up in the nose. Now it's going to end up kind of like that inside the bait. So we'll use that channel. Again, we'll just let's see if we can show you there. That's where that channel is. Sometimes it's easier if you wet the straw, but I'm just going to do this like this anyway. So you just go slowly through there, poke it right through the top of the bait, cut that off. And then all you're going to do is put the tip of the hook into the straw and just slowly let that follow through in the channel with the straw. Boom, like that. Take the straw off and then just kind of tech spools rig it back it and just poke the tip in like that. And now you are perfectly rigged, weedless, um, and ready to go. This is a great way to keep your baits hooked up properly the first time. Use that straw rig gets it done right every time. I love it. That's probably one of the best ways I've seen to rig up one of these big weedless swim baits. Very, very sick. If you guys are gonna be in town for the Swim Bait Universe gathering, make sure you come over and check out Tom's booth at Dream Smasher Swim Baits. It's gonna have quite a bit of stuff, hopefully enough to go around for the day. Yep. And come say hi to Tom and I. I'll be swinging through there as well. Here's some clips of what we've caught today. Oh. Yeah. I don't. I'm just gonna flip them in. Shoo! Yeah. <laughs> I watched him on live scope. There's two stumps down there. That's right that direction, or is it that? It, one? Yeah, following that arrow. That arrow okay. So we're kind of right on top of it. I'll back off. Don't That's a solid chunk there though. 17. Yeah. See you buddy. God, he smoked it. I like brought it up to it and like just let it fall and I felt my line just... <laughs> See something? What you got? Yep, two fish. Yep. Disappeared. Might have gone. There's a bunch of stuff out there. Right there, there's something. Right here. God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was sitting there because I was looking at the fish. Oh, that's Ooh. a nice chunk. Not bad. <laughs> Man, that was so sick. <laughs> You're looking at it and just letting it lay there, huh? Yeah. I picked up and I started reeling it and I felt, I thought it was coming around some of the str or the cover underneath that dock. Yep. Nice. Another one. Jump. Smoke show. Dream Smasher. With Mr. Dream Smasher himself right there. Boom. That's a chunky one, man. He's yep. healthy. Yep. Looks Stop. good. That's awesome. It was weird, too. They were in like, uh, they were in, uh, <laughs> Yes. I wish I had a net to help you. Oh yeah. Get her. That is a nice one. Oh yeah. Nice. She's skinny. Look at how skinny she is. Whoa. That's a solid fish. That's at least four. Here we go. 
Got him? Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Front side of that current. In there. Yes, sir. Oh, there we go. Really Come here, bud. It. It's another solid little two and a half pounder. Nice yes. work. Whoop. Number okay. four. Dream Smasher Day. Man, he was right sitting, I'm assuming, tail into that cover. Yep. Just facing into the current. That's sick. There's no love on that one. <laughs> Hell yeah. Good catch. That's awesome.